TV shows and video games both have their places in mass media. Usually stories in video games aren't too easily adapted into TV shows or movies, but a lot of times we see some TV shows we'd love to try playing though. Let's let our creative minds run wild and fantasize a little bit about how our favorite shows could be played and not just watched. Hey guys, Arcade Cloud here, and today we're counting down our top 5 TV shows that should be made into video games. If you're new to our channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with some friends. It's free. At number five, we have Stranger Things. Okay, so this technically isn't on TV. It's on Netflix. It's still a TV show, right? Or is it? Anyway, the classic sci-fi themes in this show are a perfect match for an action-adventure game. Maybe not a direct recreation of the show plot point by plot point, but using the setting and the characters from Stranger Things could definitely create a satisfying gameplay experience. I mean, could you imagine fighting that big shadow monster? It's totally screaming Shadow of the Colossus to me. I could see the point of view changing between sequences, like your standard Call of Duty style campaign, where you play multiple characters and act out all of the B-plots in addition to the main story. Or, better yet, why not make it a mystery game and make it similar to L.A. Noir? Give the player a bike and let them ride around Hawkins, Indiana looking for clues and solving puzzles in an open world. There's a lot of potential here to make an action-packed, thrilling mystery game, and if you couple it with that excellent Synthwave soundtrack, this Netflix original could become a AAA blockbuster hit in the gaming world. At number 4 we have Supernatural, another show that could make a great mystery action-adventure game. You know who would do this story right? I vote Naughty Dog. There, there's just something about this show that screams to me Uncharted. I have a feeling that their fantastic performance direction in their games could make for some great voice acting and storytelling through characters that feel real to the player. Something about how the way Naughty Dog handles dialogue and exposition is just so right for the slightly funny, slightly spooky tales of Sam and Dean Winchester. Another idea that could work for this would be some kind of survival horror game similar to Silent Hill or Resident Evil. But instead of focusing on killing monsters, it would be mostly focused on investigation and puzzle solving. There's a lot of room in the show's world for many different types of gameplay, so there's plenty of ideas that could be executed well, and since the show has such a devoted cult following, I'm sure the game would sell marginally well too. At number 3 we have Mr. Robot. With its gritty urban street hacker storyline that has a few obvious jokes, like having a big evil corporation being literally named Evil Corp, Mr. Robot would be an excellent open world hacking game similar to Watch Dogs. The dream team to put together this game has to be the directors and writers of the Bioshock series with the gameplay designers of the Watch Dogs series. Now I know what a lot of you are thinking, but Watch Dogs was pretty glitchy and wasn't as much fun as it looked. Right, here's how you fix that, alright? Ubisoft doesn't develop it or publish it. I'd actually argue for Rockstar Games personally, as they seem to handle the task of creating a massive open world with lots of interactivity very well. With its near future dystopian themes and its excellent writing, this could absolutely make a fantastic game. Maybe just get Sega's express permission before using that logo for a video game. A TV show is something else, but I mean, come on, that might not hold up well in court if it was for a video game. At number two, we have Breaking Bad. One of the highest rated television shows on IMDb, Breaking Bad was a massive success. It's a name so big that it would most definitely sell a few million copies of a video game, regardless of how good the game was. But I think that with the right elements, it could make for a great game. Now, I have a few ideas, but I think first and foremost is a tycoon game. It would have to be done right, not like those mobile idle games that make you wait 30 minutes to construct a building or make you pay to get it done sooner. I mean an actually well done real-time strategy game that involves building an empire. You'd start in the iconic trailer and work your way up to owning a cartel, all while working against a time limit. As Walt's illness takes him closer to his demise, you have to make sure that you save enough money to help support his family, and make sure that you can pass off your empire to somebody you can trust to run it well. I think it could be kind of like Solitaire. You try to complete a certain amount of tasks in a certain amount of time in order to win. For those of you who don't like tycoon games, it could just be a linear, single-player game like one that Telltale would make. And while it would fit the format of the show pretty well, I'd still love to see some creativity in how the show would be worked into the actual game's design. And finally at number one, we have Game of Thrones. I know, there's already a Telltale series on this show, but honestly, I think it's not capturing the full potential of the vast world that George R.R. R. Martin created. And it follows a B-plot most of the time, too. 
Lame. Here's my idea, right? We take the huge battlefields of the Star Wars Battlefront games and apply the world of Game of Thrones to them. Then you can pick characters from the seven different kingdoms and battle it out in a massive online multiplayer warfare game. Think For Honor, but with bigger maps and lots more players. Maybe a hint of the Battle Royale Last Man Standing concept. I mean, sure, the Telltale series is passable, but I just think it doesn't truly live up to the awesome gameplay concepts that would work well in this series. Imagine finding a dragon to ride and skipping a ton of time on foot by riding into battle on a fire-breathing beast. Or for those of us who like old-school MMORPGs, a massive world to explore and complete quests in. Perhaps completing tasks for the main characters in the story could be interesting. Maybe that way people wouldn't fight over which characters they got to play in the big multiplayer battle arena idea. Either way, I'm sure there's much more that the developers can do with this story than just make a quick time event decision making game. And there you have it, our list of the top 5 TV shows that should be made into video games. Be sure to leave your game ideas for your favorite shows in the comments. Uh, we would love to read them. Do you agree? Did we miss something? Let us know in the comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe for more great videos from Arcade Cloud on Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Take care, and game on!